Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. So today I'm here with a completely new series that I'm going to start reacting to, a movie series that is uh, Lupin 3. Now I previously I did the castle of Cagliostro and I was a little bit concerned if I am able to you know understand what's happening because I never saw Lupin before and castle of Cagliostro was the first uh, Lupin movie that I ever saw without watching the anime so I was kind of concerned as to that whether I'll be able to understand what's going on on all the other stuff but it was very easy to understand there's nothing that you know I was unable to understand because I never knew the characters or something like that it's, I'm guessing these are like the standalone movies which you can uh, obviously have like you know enjoy as much as uh, like you know someone else will enjoy who has watched the anime Obviously, the person who have watched the anime will get some hidden references and stuff, which I probably won't be able to get. But it was easy to understand, and nothing like you know, no problems. So like that was why I was a little bit, I was a little bit hesitating to actually start uh, reacting to the Lupin movies. And uh, someone in the comment section mentioned that there are no problems; you can watch the movies if you want to without watching the anime. And uh, like that's why I'm starting. I'll, I'll be starting reacting to the movies of Lupin from today every week I'll be reacting to one movie and I hope to complete all the movies like this so yeah so if you are interested in my future you know my weekly uh, Lupin movie reactions be sure to subscribe <laughs> all right okay so uh, so yeah as I was saying I have I, you know I've not seen Lupin and but I know the characters obviously I've seen Castle of Cagliostro and I have watched Detective Conan I am quite a big fan of Detective Conan so I actually watched the collaboration movie I think they had before uh, I watched that so from that and the Castle of Cagliostro I have um, small little informations about the characters mm -hmm. I don't know nothing much about them but I know them uh, by the names as well like you know like uh, we met uh, Goemon uh, Zenigata I remember and obviously Lupin is there and I th uh, who else was there? oh Fujiko Mine obviously so these characters I know them and uh, yeah like I'm, I'm sure I'll be able to understand but I, I, I thought about reacting to the anime but uh, I kind of checked out how many episodes it has and it has a lot of episodes and it'll be like a huge commitment if I actually start it and I'm kind of scared about that because you know like as I said it'll be like you'll have to like uh, commit to reacting to the uh, anime and it's like it's going to go for so long that's why I am I was a little bit hesitating to start the anime but as I, as I can see that the movies can be watched without even seeing the anime you can understand it pretty well so yeah let's start with the movies first so yeah without further ado let's get started so this is uh my reaction to the i think this is the first movie of lupin 3 uh the secret of mamo i think this is that's the name yeah the secret of mamo so it's quite an old movie so let's check it out so yeah without further ado let's get started and uh yeah so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is a preferent and uh, preference and let's get started with this movie all right so here's the countdown Three, two, one, go. Okay, let's see. Whoa. What is this? Oh, the lines are getting narrower and, narrow and narrower. Yeah. Oh, what? Um, what? Whoa, what is this? What? This Lupin, isn't it? Corner's rep precision autopsy was performed on the Prisoner executed prisoner was without a question. The real but there was a man who refused to believe that uh, 
Whoa, what's happening? Oh, this is Zenigata, isn't it? Wow. Wait, so the world knows that Lupin is dead. Is it something like that? But Zenigata refuses to believe it. Whoa! Oh! It is Lupin, isn't it? He bought a steak. Um. Wait, there he is. He's not dead. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm a little. What? He came here with to see if he's a vampire or not. Like, um, what? Wait, what was his body over here? Like, it's like an uninhabited island or something. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Wait. I was thinking, who is he shooting? Wow. Wait. Wait, what is this? Oh, is that a brain? Yeah. Okay. Wow, this started in an interesting way. Like, it shows, basically in the start we see that Lupin is dead and then like we see that no, he's not dead and then who was... He says that he himself is confused as to why he's not dead or something like that. So, so he did not do any kind of trick. He himself is unsure why he's alive. Mandrake Trout. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Wow, they're in Egypt. Okay. Oh, huge, these pyramids. Okay. 
fake jewelry. <laughs> Boy. Uh, <laughs> could be a mouse. <laughs> what? Nah, that's no mouse. Okay. Oh wait, this is um, going on, isn't it? Wow. Oh my god, oh my god. What? Fish, yeah, it is fishing. <laughs> My god, look at this. How they have to get in. <laughs> what authority, Eric? <laughs> Six cents, yeah, that's an authority. That's the biggest authority here. <laughs> oh, that's a. Uh... What? What? Is this what they were actually- Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> Block the exit. Yeah. Wait, where did he get the... Oh no. <laughs> nice. Won't work. Okay, maybe that's what he's trying to do. Oh! <laughs> oh boy. Wait, what happened to them? Oh. I forgot his name. What was his name? Um. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, he's going on, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, well, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Go <Going> on. <laughs> Sudden ex <laughs> Well Oh there's a trap. <laughs> Man <laughs> He runs away again. <laughs> okay. Oh, what is this place? 
the school isn't it or um what wait what um what the I will grow old what the who is talking with her wait she doesn't know um what the weird <laughs> what the hmm Okay. Wow, the trees are like hmm. Oh, it's just coming here. Oh wait, or what are they like waiting for her? Um Oh <laughs> Oh, he's all dressed up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so what is that? It's like a <laughs> hmm oh Okay. <laughs> oh no! Oh, come on! <laughs> well... Wait, what happened to her? him? Oh! Wait, he got paralyzed or something. <laughs> oh my god, what the... <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, really? <laughs> okay. Oh, the the bugged her. Okay. But how are they able? Are they going to able to figure out where she is? Like, they can only hear the sound. So, whoa, what is this? Graveyard or something like that. What's that weird voice that is coming from? Okay. Mr. Flint. Whoa. Hello, Mr. Flint. What? Eternal dream. Wait, is that a... Whoa! Wait, the, the thing itself was was a fake? Oh, that, so this guy is Mamo from the title. Wait, so that one was a fake one? Or... I don't know. I think so. Yeah, Qin, Qin Dynasty. Qin Shi Huang, the whole... All right. <laughs> Deceived. No. <laughs> Um, what the hell? Oh, run! Oh no! God, what the hell? Oh my god. I'm guessing this... Oh god. Yeah, oh my god. Uh, you can't get in there, but obviously. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! Underground. Yeah, that'll work. Wait, where's going on? Wasn't he supposed to be with them? How? Oh! Damn, he's a pretty good, uh, you know, like, 
controlling the helicopter pretty well. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh my god, he's pissed. He's mighty pissed. Oh! <laughs> Wait, did, did that not work? Uh, or did it? Ah, yeah, it worked. There you go. Boy, boy, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh no! Someone's up there. Yeah. So yeah, that was a fake one. <laughs> oh, oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> he took her car. Mm -hmm. They're still tailing him. Oh, now the police are tailing them. God. <laughs> you should get it. <laughs> wow. All right. Thank God there's not much traffic, you know. One thing I love about Lupin is it's so <laughs> like you know like so many things happen at the same time. It's like a <laughs> like it's barely the start. We haven't even crossed thirty minute mark and so many things happened. Type A. <laughs> what? Oh. Um, yeah, this is bad. Wait, that's the French? Yeah, I don't think. Oh, God. I don't think that's the French police. I might be mistaken though. You have any parachute? <laughs> okay, a turn is coming. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Okay, who? Oh! Guys, run or drive. Okay, we need another turn. Um. Ah! Oh! What?
Oh! Yeah, the, the car is quite small, so... <laughs> okay, good. This is good. Um... Oh, well, never mind. Okay, this... Nice. Oh. Hey, yeah, there's no saving this time. My God. Wow, it's like... <laughs> the water. Oh, that was that's a deep pond. Pond, I think, yeah. Or is that a lake? <laughs> okay. Um. Uh. What? Oh no! Someone's coming! Um... Yeah... Oh! Oh! Blew that car off. <laughs> Ooh! Yeah. <laughs> On top of his head. Oh, it's that guy. Um, what was his name? Flinch or Flitch? Something like that. Hmm. Um. Yeah. God. Ah, the blew the whole place up. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I don't Yeah, <laughs> nothing could change that. <laughs> okay. Oh. Hmm. Well, ah, this is bad. Uh. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Yeah, I don't believe that. <laughs> wow.
Hmm. Damn. Yeah, it's tiring, obviously. Whoa, what's he doing? Oh, trying to find water or something? I'm sure that's a... Uh, what do you call them? Mirage, I think, yeah. That's definitely either a trap or a mirage. And that's a mirage. Oh no, maybe it's a trap. Yeah, that's a trap. <laughs> they kept that thing in the middle of the desert just so that they can <laughs> find it. Wow. Maybe that's another trap. Ah, uh, nothing. Wait, there are food. But water? Is there water? Yes. Not like that. That's that's mean, isn't it? What? How is she here? Bunga the Yeah. What? <laughs> Maybe this is a trap. He, she's. I'm. I'm sure. Th is this a trap? Oh boy. Hmm. Okay. And that's a bad idea, I think. Yes. I don't know why I feel like that's a trap. Like, would you go? Must have some other lands or something. Like, why would she? She be here in the middle of the desert. <laughs> Boy. Mm. This is a trap. Uh, yeah, this is a trap. Uh, uh this must be a trap. <laughs> oh, God. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> what the hell? She, he has an axe? <laughs> what? Oh my god. Wait, what's happening? Wait, what happened? Was there something in the food? Yeah, there you go. Well, that was a trap. Go on, yeah, go back. Uh, well, the, this is a problem. Wait, they could have just taken the... Uh, I'm guessing they don't know where the stone is. Oh boy. Ah, uh, it won't... Uh, yeah, it won't... Oh! It hit! But, yeah. Nah, Fujiko, I'm sure she did that. There must be some kind of clue there, inside there. Wait, who's telling him? Where's Goemon? Plan. Well, Flinch is here. I'm sure he knows that he's being tailed. Zenyat, uh, Goemon must be somewhere hiding. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> ah! Nice! What will you do now, Flinch? Flinch? <laughs> what? Wait, he's not Flinch? Um... Wait, what? They both of them got captured. Hmm. Oh, that was not flinch. That was... Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, he said his name is Gordon. Oh yeah, that is not flinch. I made a mistake. <laughs> nice and simple. Hmm. Oh. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. 
Well, he says his name, so. Hmm. God. Okay. Oh my god. Uh <laughs> damn, good. <laughs> yeah. Uh that's all. yeah. We also want to know that. All right, what's written? Let's see. <laughs> Water. In an island or something? Whoa, calm down, guy. What the hell? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Boy. Oh. The actual hidden... Okay, let's see what's written now. Oh, alright. Yeah, so it is in some kind of an island, I'm guessing. There you go. It's in a, it's in a cage. It's just a big cage. <laughs> he became a werewolf. <laughs> He's like, what the hell is happening? <laughs> Big mistake, dude. Big mistake. Yes! <laughs> Basically. Nice! Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Weird statues? What the hell is this place? Whoa. What an interesting place. Looks like some kind of an um, you know, lost civilization or something. What the? Okay, that's weird. <clears throat> Um, oh no, that guy. Me! <laughs> oh, <laughs> what the hell is this place?
Oh, this, these are like uh, famous paintings, aren't they? I, rem- I recognize the clock one. I, can't, I forgot the name of the... Um, hello there? Whoa! Whoa, 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 what the hell? What? Um, wh- what was that? That- That was weird, what the hell? Is this like a dream world or something? Like, weird things are happening. Is this Mamo? I think so. Kind of saw his silhouette before. Yeah, this is Mamo. Asylum <laughs> director. <laughs> what? Um. Yeah, this is Mamo. Yeah. <clears throat> what? Compensation. Yeah. <laughs> Body boy. <laughs> Oh, um, wow, this guy, no, don't do that, yeah, no, oh, that's glass, oh, (laughs) the guy's a jokester, what the hell? Mama is a jokester. Hmm. Yeah, it's still going. <laughs> Wait, is this Zenigata? Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, they're also tailing them. Wow, everyone is going to Mamo. Okay, there it is. Hmm, so that is a philosophical stone. Oh, oh, these were being shown in the opening sequence. Little, little, oh my God, what the? Well, that's weird.
were extinct because of the beauty. Okay. But that's what her dream is? Yeah. No, he knows that. Like... Wait, so she wants Lup Lupin also, for Lupin to also get uh, eternal life? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! That was weird. What the hell? <laughs> Mom was like, what is even happening? <laughs> okay. Is he like planning to chug it into the ocean or something? Like... Um, yeah, that's Fujiko. Okay. Ah, huh. uh, no. Oh boy, yeah. Uh, no. Nothing good happens by trying to go, like, you know, like, chase for eternal life. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh... Wow. <laughs> what? Like, oh, there is a... And a, no choice. Yeah, I think... <laughs> yeah. Hmm, that's awkward. Now nah, we believe you, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, is it trying to create life or something? Whoa, 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 what the hell? That... They're here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Zenigata's here as well. <laughs> 
The whole crew is here. Chinese philosopher. Oh, so that's what we saw before. I was like, what the hell was happening? End of the world. What? Oh my god. Yeah. Hmm. Oh my god, okay, well... Well, obviously, like, if, if you leave forever, like, if there's no one with you, like, what the hell... God. <laughs> oh boy, Mamo. Ow! Um. Whoa! <laughs> what the hell? Dream. Okay. Uh. Are we going to see what he's dreaming or something? Yeah, we're going to see what he's dreaming. Ha! <laughs> Zeniata is also in there! <laughs> wow! This is his dreams. <laughs> Heart of his subconscious. Hmm, let's see. Whoa, what's happening? Oh my god. Did it overheat or something? <laughs> what? <laughs> Consciousness of idiocy or god? What? Yes, yeah, stop it! Um Oh Whoa Whoa everyone is here <laughs> Well this is a problem. Nah. <laughs> no, it's not for you. Yeah, they have their own goals. Oh boy. God. Um. 
Oh God! Whoa! Yeah. Okay, so he's immortal, but obviously he's not like you know like he'll die if he gets shot or something. I think so. Nah. <laughs> Oh boy, the leaving you is any other. <laughs> oh, Flinch is here. Um, yeah. Okay, Zenigata is here. Uh, not Zenigata, sorry, Goemon is here. He can handle him. Come on. Amateur. <laughs> You're a thousand years early to challenge me. Come on. Okay. Yeah, another worthless thing. Wait, what? Whoa, what happened? Whoa, he's so tough that... Oh, never mind. He's just wearing a vest. Well, a lot of his body's exposed, so... Oh! Oh no! Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa! There you go. I was saying, like, a lot of his body is exposed, so... Did he get hurt as well? Oh my god. Okay, uh... <laughs> Come on, Zenigata. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! God, <laughs> there were two boats. Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. Ah, uh, uh, did they did they get the uh, stone back? I think so. Like Lupin already had that, but it got snatched, so... Oh boy. Is he okay? Like... What is that? Is that a car? Um, oh, who is this? But who is this? I'm, I'm guessing we probably met her in, met him in the anime or something. Yeah, I think so. I was the chief commissioner. Okay.
하나 꺼. 음. 음. <웃음> oh my god. <웃음> 아, 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 로벌 스케일 아, 그래서 아, 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 예. 오! 아, 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 뭐해? 예, yeah, where is he? 아. 음. 음. He, he, he was doing something. Oh. Oh, that was what we were being shown in the opening. No, but that's just a clone. That's a different... No, no, no. Your consciousness is different. Like, a clone is a completely different individual, isn't it? Like... Like, you have different... I don't know, like... What? Whoa, what is happening? Wait, that's, is that how clone, cloning works? I don't think so. I'm, I'm going to talk about this later on. Like you... Okay, anyways, I'll talk about it later.
<laughs> Human word, wow. Wow. What? So he's saying that the, the one who's executed was the original one and he's a clone. I don't know. I don't think that's how cloning works, does it? Like if that's how cloning works, like everyone would be like immortal by now. Hmm. Oh. Was that like a a projector or something? Oh. Wow! Okay. Yeah, how is he floating in the air? Like, that's a question. Maybe this is a, uh, a hologram or something. <laughs> this is this is hypnosis. This is nothing supernatural. Oh wait, what the? <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, there must be some kind of a trick. Oh god, well, here we go, the tremor. Um... Oh boy. Ah. Uh. Whoa, it's really an earthquake. Whoa. Mm. 
God, what is happening? Yeah, but can't hold. Oh, okay. But but the timing. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm sure he'll follow. <clears throat> oh no. Oh. Oh, come on. Uh. Okay. Wait, is that Zenigata? <laughs> Boy, he's still following him. Keep out investigation for an uh... All right, she's here. Oh, oh no, whoa. Oh, that was close. Who the hell was that? Oh my god. No! Whoa. Oh, these are Mamos clones, I'm guessing. Are all of them clones? Never 100% perfect. Oh my god. These are like the ones who were not perfect. Oh. 
Yeah. Ah, like. Yeah. What what more? What what the Yeah, this is uh, this is not a like it's madness. Like what? Whoa, what? Oh my god, what the hell? And he made her push it! Wow, great, this guy is a nut job. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is fun. Huh. Wait, but did he do something to the missiles? Was that like a self destruct button or something? <laughs> there you go, he did something. Oh my god, it is blowing up here! Yeah. Whoa! Ah, oh, this guy! What the hell? Like he's so obsessed with her, like it doesn't... Like, can I, isn't he supposed to be an immortal guy who's been living for so long and he's obsessed over... Oh my god. Ugh. Okay. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, what? Whoa, what's what's he planning? Oh, so the blood kind of made him realize that. I think so. Whoa. Whoa. Ah. Oh, it was his, yeah. Okay. Damn. Yeah, he is immortal, so... Kind of. Ah... <sighs> I think he's dead this this time he's dead I think hmm whoa wait what was what the What the? Whoa, that's a brain! Oh my god! Oh, that's the original. Like a supercomputer or something. Yeah. Hmm. Whoa. What's happening? Like it's like a force field or something.
Yeah, this is bad. Oh no! Wait, where? where? Yeah. Oh, holy! Oh my god. How can you even stop this? Like Okay. Whoa. Is he like transporting him to outer space or something? I think so. Yeah, he said something like that. Boy. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, 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 where, where did the bomb come from? Wait, who planted that? Was that Lu Lupa? How? Whoa. Hmm. So Lupin did plant the bomb there. Oh, there she is. Oh god, Zenigata. <laughs> Handcuffed his legs. <laughs> wow. Yeah, why did you handcuff the leg of your. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Whoa. Oh my god, what the hell? Uh, 
Um... <laughs> wait, wait, what the? Um, hello? Oh my god. Zenny got... My god, yeah, everyone has launched. Yeah, obviously this is, this, this is what's going to happen. God, run guys! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's not exception, wow. Poor Gordon. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. What is that? Ah! Yes. <laughs> oh my god! That handcuff or leg cuff, whatever. Great. Now you're stuck. <laughs> like those one leg races, you know, in those in the animals that we see in the sports festivals. <laughs> My God. Yeah. <laughs> Going on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was fantastic. I love that. Oh my god. Oh. That was fun, I have to say. Boy. Okay, one thing I need to discuss here, like, the thing that uh, Mama was talking about, the immortal immortality by... Whoa. Is this him singing the song? I think so. Yeah, it's Rupan singing the song. <laughs> You're still running. <laughs> okay. As I was saying, like, the thing that they explained, the immortal, immortality uh, in relation with cloning, uh, I don't know, I think, isn't that impossible? Like, like cloning is supposed to be like, you know, like, you, you're cloning the, what do you call it? Uh, you're cloning the person, and it's like a duplicate, it's not as if, like, your consciousness is being transferred from one clone to another. Your clone has a different consciousness. It's like a different person. Isn't that how it's supposed to work? Obviously, I don't know anything about uh, like cloning, but I think it was supposed to be something like that. Wasn't it? Okay, that's the end. Like, you know, like, uh, like if you... Like, the, the, the thing that uh, Mamo says, that, uh, like, according to Mamo, uh, cloning is like, you know, like, like, there's this person and there's, like, this another clone for him. And, like, what, basically what he explained, how he has been, like, kept alive for so long, is, like, he used to clone himself. And, like, you know, he used to, like, you know, go from one body to another or something like that. But I don't think that's possible in cloning because... Your consciousness is within yourself, your own body. If you make a clone of yourself, obviously your clone 
will exist but your clone will have another consciousness another uh, mind you know it will be a different person than you your clone will uh, like you know work according to his own uh, like, you know whims and you will work, work according to your own whims like you two are different persons so i don't know as i said i'm, I'm not sure about this but I think that that is what supposed cloning is supposed to be like. Like, uh, like the thing that uh, Mamo said is like he's basically transferring, um, you know, her his brain, uh, not brain, but his uh, consciousness from one uh, clone to another. Because, but uh, one thing I can understand is I think that's what he like the main uh, thing that they explained in the end is that uh, neither of the clones were the actual Mamo. The actual Mamo was the big brain that we saw so now that is possible you know like uh, that is possible basically what he was doing was he designated a certain like you know single clone as the real one and he was basically um, controlling all the other things uh, by controlling that one uh, clone so this is what happened um, he like you know the main structure of Mamo was supposed to be the brain you know that big brain that we saw so that was the main body or not main body but the main thing the main control uh, center you can call it so what he did was he cloned the other bodies and uh, you know that he must have done that beforehand you know, he cloned his body and the body which was uh, perfect in all way was the actual copy of him without any defects he uh, labeled that as the main body then from the control panel that is the big brain he controlled that body directly you know it's like you know like it was like um like he like the, the body that he was controlling that's the main body was like his uh, i don't know a, a video game character you can like kind of compare it to like that like the brain is us as people who is controlling and the main body is the character in game which we are controlling it's something like that you know like we will like push our keyboards mouse and use our controllers to control uh, the in-game in character you know and like you know for example if we meet someone in game we can also talk with them using uh, our own input our own keyboard and we can also like sometimes voice chat like everything we are doing but the person like you know but the person who is you're talking with in game like you know it feels as if the character is like you know interacting with the other character it's not the character that is interacting it's actually you who is in the control set that is doing everything but that is being reflected into the in-game character basically if like i think this is the most simple way you can explain it as far as i could understand so that was just it like the main person was the brain and the main body that he designated was actually his video game character you can call it something like that and he was controlling it like that so that is possible you know i think that is possible because like uh like he like he's just a brain in in the uh in a preserved state so he's immortal in that way and whenever the uh, bodies that he's controlling uh kind of uh, live past their lifespan he changes uh like you know the body and controls another d different clone so that's how he can i'm guessing he can jump from one uh, person to another so that is possible but the thing that he said before that yeah cloning means that like you know uh you know i've been alive by cloning uh if you yourself is the main body that's impossible because cloning basically makes another one of you it does not transfer your uh, consciousness into your clone that does not happen so that's impossible but this is possible he is like a separate entity and he's controlling all the other clones this is possible and i'm guessing this is how he was alive he kept himself alive for so long you know he basically changed bodies like this he basically controlled one character uh, one like you know body and when that body died or something like you know went past his like you know lifespan he changed and started uh, you know and transferred everything to another body and started controlling it so it was something like that and uh, now one thing that kind of is weird here is the uh, first thing that we saw that Rupan was hanged you know and uh, like later on he says that yeah that the one that was hanged was your copy you're the original 
Like I understand that, but the thing that's kind of confusing is why did Rupan think that it was he who got hanged? Because obviously he did not get hanged, his clone got hanged. So, and his clone is supposed to have another mm, consciousness. As I said, like cloning does not transfer your consciousness from one body to another. I don't think that happens. So why did Rupan feel as if like he got hanged? That's a question I have. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, that was very interesting. Like, you know, it, it was like, like the, the way it was going, it was like all like, you know, jokes and everything like, you know, like entertaining, funny, comedy. And then suddenly in the middle portion, it kind of got serious in a way where we saw actually what he was doing. And, um, you know, like it really went into some technical stuff. <clears throat> all right okay so this movie uh the main theme of this movie is immortality and uh like we know that like you know we've seen a lot of animes not only animes a lot of tv shows and stuff where uh, like you know a lot of the villains actually say stuff like oh i'm look like you know i'm like i want immortality you know i want to live forever like this is like one of the main motivations of a lot of the villains that we see you know uh, there's a lot of motivations that villains actually have. The, uh, uh, certain type of villains actually, I, they cannot try to control the world. There are some types of villain who actually wants to become the strongest. Certain type of villain who actually wants immortality, like this guy here. And there are other variations as well. But this guy here, he wanted immortality. Now, this whole immortality thing always struck me a really, really weird thing. Like in a weird, what can I say, um, goal for people. Because I can kind of understand people trying to become the strongest in the world and, you know, like, uh, like you know, becoming the most powerful, uh, controlling everyone in the earth. I can kind of understand that because that's like something, uh, what can I say, um, you know, like, like, that's like a, like a greed that people have. Like, yeah, I want to be the best or something like that. Everyone has that. But actual villains take it to a... Uh, what can I say take it to large lengths to actually achieve that and that's what a villain is you know like like that's basically what our villains are so like I can kind of understand that type of a goal but immortality has always struck me really weird because obviously like I can understand that you want immortality because you want to live long but why like the question is why what will you do by living that long like, you know, like I can understand like you want to live a long life. You want to live like, you know, 90 years old or 95 years old. I can understand that. Everyone wants to live, live a long life. But when it goes past that barrier and you start living like a thousand years or 10,000 years, why? What's, what's the, like, you know, why, like, why is that even a goal for people? Like, you know, like, what do you even do for that long? you're just alive what do you do all your loved ones will die like i think that's like the biggest um thing for immortality that everyone that you know will die and that's painful you know like that's painful like imagine like living forever and uh like you know all the people who you love and like your family members and all the other people they all die and like, you know you're still living forever all alone and like I'm, I'm guessing that's why most of the people most of the villains who actually try to get immortality <coughs> are actually <laughs> people who are alone you know who don't have anyone uh, so that they usually like you know kind of focus on getting immortality because like yeah like if, if if you actually have loved ones people who follow you and all like you definitely won't want immortality because that's one of the most painful things ever like look like you know watching uh, your loved ones die and you being immortal forever that's very kind of painful in a way so like that's why i'm saying like you know this immortality uh goal for villains has always struck me a little weir weird forever because what do you even do by being immortal you know you just you're just there alone so yeah like that's one thing so the main theme of this uh, movie was obviously immortality and we can see that Mamo was very what can I say serious about that and he, he basically wanted to become a god or something. I'm guessing like uh, this kind of makes sense in a way why he wanted to be mortal because he really wanted to become a god. So obviously if you want to 
if you have such a goal such a huge goal obviously you need a lot of time so you cannot die so that's why he he you know wanted to become immortal because by being immortal he can actually try to strive for that goal where he wants to become omnipotent like a god you know and rule the world or something like here it kind of makes sense why he wanted to become mortal but otherwise immortality is a very weird thing and yeah it really doesn't make any sense why people would even want that and uh, now here's an interesting thing that fujiko actually like you know like uh actually like she she wanted lupan to also become immortal and she herself also wanted to become immortal because in the beginning when she brought him you know she at the beginning she was like uh, oh like you know yeah like, yeah i'm going to become immortal and mom also said that and then when mom suddenly said that rupan did not uh, accept to become immortal you know she changed she completely changed her mind by the end of it and she was like yeah like why would i even become immortal if you don't you know i don't want to look at a <laughs> what did she say like an old lupan in front of me you know like that's the main thing like like the thing that uh, fujiko wanted i think she basically wanted to become immortal and she also wanted to make lupan immortal but as soon as lupan did not accept that she was like yeah then what what is the, like you know what is the point even uh, becoming immortal so she rejected that in the end she was like no i, I don't want it anymore so and obviously the thing that rupan said was like you know very like you know like what can i say his take on immortality is just my take on immortality like why even you know and i'm i'm sure a lot of people has the same take on immortality like like if someone like comes and tells me like yeah do you want to be immortal like like i'll be the same i'll be like like why why even you know like we have our life it's like you know like what makes life good is because it's Mm, you know like it's a limited thing you know you can live your life for for that amount of time to the fullest like if your life doesn't even end you know like that really doesn't make any sense like it's weird and it's what can i say like you know yeah it is weird and like it it is even more weirder if you are the only one who gets that amount of time and everyone else dies at like in their normal age it it it's even more weirder like why even why even like you know want to, you want to become immortal if everyone dies uh, by that time so same thing rupan said that like at the beginning he was like nope nah i don't want that <laughs> and mama was like oh he's foolish uh, you know he doesn't uh, like you know he doesn't want that he's not worthy of it and all that stuff but like obviously mama had a goal and his goal was very huge and you know bold which uh, and bold which is basically becoming the god so i can kind of understand why he tried to become immortal but what would loop loopan do you know he doesn't want to become a god so why even why would he even want to become immortal so <laughs> yeah that was that and uh, like obviously like I, as i said like you know this like, you know i nothing really kind of bothered me in this movie and it felt as if i was able to understand everything because like you know like it's, it's like like i can kind of understand after watching this movie and also Cali castle of caliostro is that um <clears throat> the movie is very what can i say uh stand alone like you know like it's very friendly in a way to, to newcomers like even newcomers will be able to watch it and able to understand and like you know ha have fun watching this movie enjoy themselves so i'm sure there are a few portions which actually kind of reference the anime most probably because the police commissioner i did not understand at the beginning i i was i was thinking like who is this guy and then he like you know zenigata himself said that oh police commissioner commissioner uh, like you know you are here and from that interaction that they had i can kind of understand a few more stuff like one step i could understand is that zenigata uh, like you know is really uh, what can i say uh, indebted to him the way he kind of talked with him and the police commissioner uh, was the person who i'm guessing um, <clears throat> told him to go and catch rupan and that's why uh, you know like like was the main person and he said something like i'm sorry that you have put so much faith on in me but i was i'm still unable to catch rupan so it must be it must be that the police commissioner must have uh, you know asked him to catch rupan and he himself 
like you know as time went on as he went like you know tried to catch rupan and failed again and again and again and again you know zenigata himself got that kind of uh, uh fire in his heart he was like no i'm definitely going to catch him so like as soon as the polish commissioner in this uh, movie said that you don't have to go and catch him he 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 said that no i'm resigning then because the goal you know the goal became his own goal he adopted the goal and he himself is so fired up to actually catch rupan like it's it's basically i'm guessing his like his main goal of his life like you know i need to catch rupan so that's why <laughs> in the beginning I, you know we see that when uh, like you know there's like this narration where they were saying that uh, rupan died but there's there was a person who did not uh, believe that uh, it, it was zenigata i think in the end we saw so that's what he was he was like no lupan cannot die unless and until i catch him it's something like that to him kind of uh, you know interesting that their relationship it's basically a codependent relationship and at the same time they're basically at each other's throat uh, mostly him trying to catch lupan but you know <laughs> very interesting and um, <clears throat> yeah and one thing I can kind of understand, like in, I saw Castle of Cagliostro, but it was really not that much implied. But in this movie, it is very much implied that Fujiwa really does kind of care about Rupan. In a lot of scenes, we actually see here, like as I said, like you know, I have not watched the anime, so I have no idea about whatever happened to the anime in the anime. Everything that I'm saying is based on the two movies that I've I've seen, Castle of Cagliostro and this one. So from these two movies one thing i can kind of like castle of Cagliostro did not really hint that that much but here is heavily hinted that fujiko really does care about him in a weird way you know in a very weird way like <laughs> like she tricks him uh, kind of like you know uh, uh manipulates him all like does all of that thing but in in the core she really does care about him in a very weird way because uh, as we see like you know the, the first uh, section where i actually realized that in this movie is when um uh finch i think that was his name he was carrying rupan and fujiko was like oh like you know uh, like you know be careful he's a very important guest don't take carry him like that that one line really struck me i was like what the hell why is he acting like this and then i actually as time went on i actually realized that yeah there is like Fujiko and um, Rupan does have a weird type of a relationship and kind of what can I say unusual in a way like the like you know like they do, does care about each other but at the same time they are not uh, like you know they don't hesitate to actually use each other like that's the type of relationship they have and I'm sure like they have confidence in each other that like I'm sure they have confidence that like you know however I manipulate the other person or however you use the other person he or she will be able to get out of that easily like I think that there's this confidence in each other like Fujiko when he manipulates Rupan I'm sure he know she knows and she believes that yeah I'm manipulating him I'm kind of making him uh, face danger but I'm, I'm sure he'll be able to get out of that easily vice versa as well rupan i'm sure rupan also thinks stuff like that like whenever he kind of i i, I doubt he usually actually uses fujiko but he kind of like you know does like you know kind of trick her in certain times we, we could see that so <clears throat> i'm sure rupan also thinks the same whenever he does something to fujiko he knows that yeah she'll be able to get out of that so like based on that confidence i'm sure like you know the, the relationships is kind of weird like they kind of mess with each other kind of uh, like you know manipulate each other trick each other but at the same time there's still in, in deep in the core there is something you know but like they do care for each other in a weird very weird way <laughs> oh my god that and uh, another obviously from the, the other characters uh, jigen we can see that jigen <laughs> <laughs> like however whatever he says he is like that one guy who cannot let rupan like you know <laughs> leave him alone cannot leave him alone at all he he kind of grumbles and says that no i'm leaving and then he comes back and like that's like the the friendship and i'm sure rupan kind of realizes that as well <laughs> he knows that uh, Zen, uh you know jigen will come for him uh zenigata uh, not zenigata sorry um um uh, what's his name 
Goemon. Goemon, I'm still unable to actually understand what he is because, as I said, I've not seen the anime. If I had seen the anime, I was I'd surely be able to actually pinpoint what type of a guy he is. But as far as I could understand from him, I'm guessing he. he this is just a guess, you know. I have not watched the anime. This is just guess basing on this movie. I'm guessing he's a type of character who is kind of a rival to uh, Rupan. He said something in this movie regarding that. Um, what did he say? Oh yeah, I will, like, you know, uh, Rupan cannot die, I won't let him die because I'm going to defeat him or something like that, he said. So it's some kind of uh, rivalry that they have going on, I'm guessing, you know. And I'm sure, like, in, I'm sure in the anime when they met, it was probably, uh, like, you know, they were probably antagonistic towards each other. <clears throat> and from that, he kind of helps Rupan uh, and waits for the time he can actually, I'm guessing, uh, what can I say? Like carry. What can I say? Like they are rivals in a way, but at the same time, they care for each other in a weird way. I'm guessing. Uh, so as I said, like you know, like I could not properly guess what Goemon is, but I'm guessing he's something like that. He's like a rival type of a character, <clears throat> you know, because that one line kind of made me think that. Like he said that yeah, he cannot die because I'm going to defeat him or I'm going to kill him. Something like that. He said. So <clears throat> that was that. And also obviously like Zenigata we can obviously guess what he is. As I said, we can very clearly see that Zenigata is a type of character who I said before that, you know, like he, he had the goal of catching Rupan and like, you know, after failing so many times, I'm sure he himself has that goal in his heart now. And like he is so obsessed with Rupan now that he doesn't even care about his job. He's like, yeah, I'm going to resign. I as an individual citizen will go for him. You know, it's it's gone to that extent. So that's basically Zenigata, and uh, <clears throat> yeah. So all right, yeah, that was this uh, this movie, and Mamo. Uh, like you know, we can see what happened to him in the end. Uh, I'm guessing uh, the the last bomb that uh, was planted. I'm guessing that uh, Rupan did that. You know, I'm sure. He must have done something mm. but he kind of like <clears throat> clung to the glass thing you know which contained the brain so i'm i'm sure he did something at that moment and <clears throat> so like you know the whole rocket kind of went outside in space and it blew up by the end and <clears throat> that's it for mamo i guess you know because the brain itself kind of got destroyed and it's like hovering around in outer space and without those preservatives you know, I doubt uh, the brain will be able to keep alive because I, I like we can see that it, it has some kind of weird preservatives in, inside the uh, container, most probably liquid nitrogen or something like that. So unless and until that is there, you know, it's probably going to die later on. Like it's, it's in outer space. So what will it even do? And uh, yeah, that's the end for Mamo. Like one thing kind of really weirded me out about Mamo is that like you know usually people like this who are immortal and kind of have gotten a long life to live they usually are really unaffected by these type of worldly desires but he he seemed very obsessed with fujiko you know and saying stuff like yeah i will be adam and eve blah 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 and stuff like that so that really kind of struck me weird because you know like i i really expected him to be you know very aloof about these type of things but he's he was like a like, you know like a little kid who just <laughs> you know i'm guessing the, like you know because he was immortal and you know he had a lot of time maybe that was the reason why he became like this i don't know but yeah that kind of it was a little weird in my opinion uh, so yeah anyways that was Mamo and everything that we saw like you know the, the miracles in a way you can say that Mamo was making was kind of uh, like everything was like man-made as you can see like you know in the, in the like, you know the way he was floating I'm sure there was some kind of a uh, thing that was hooked to him and like there must be some kind of trick I'm not sure how he made Fujiko levitate but I'm sure there must be some kind of trick with that as well. So everything that we, he did was definitely not 
uh, some kind of supernatural stuff it was all man-made and as lupin kind of like caught one thing where he says that you know the, the hallucination that they got was something that like you know they knocked them out he said and uh, transferred all the furniture made a like you know projection uh, using a projector or something and showed them those visions and then again i'm guessing they knocked them out and brought them back into this room making them feel as if ah they got a vision or something so that one thing Rupan caught very easily uh, but the other things i'm not sure what happened uh, you know the whole levitating thing how he did that and some other stuff as well uh, there's this another thing where he kind of floats in the sky he was kind of walking and like Ru Rupan also starts walking and then he realizes that it was actually a reinforced glass but then he falls down where the glass ends but he you know mama was still floating so i'm guessing uh, that there was like a hole in, inside the reinforced glass from where rupan kind of fell down and mama knew what the hole was so he basically skipped that portion and started walking on the other side something like that i'm sure about it so like making it like an illusion that yeah he's floating but rupan was unable to do that so because there was a hole in the middle of it or something like that i'm sure if it's something like that so yeah everything was man-made everything he did himself everything was like a trick that he did so obviously like if he really had those type of powers he, he you can call him god so why would he even want to become a god because he had these type of powers he's definitely a supernatural type of being so yeah i don't know so yeah and it's kind of interesting to see actually that i was really shocked at that scene like you know when we see like, you know the whole thing the cameo <laughs> that we got i'm not like you know mentioning it but you guys must understand what i'm trying to say so like i was really surprised i was like what the hell is this and then uh he actually explains that it, those people were actually um people that i'm, I'm guessing he cloned or something did something like that and uh, yeah and according to him he has been living for lots of years thousands of years so he has seen a lot of things but that's what kind of struck me odd in the end you know like if he has been living for so long why was he so obsessed with fujiko like you know like it kind of feels childish in a way so <laughs> yeah i think that was it for this movie that was a very amazing movie i loved it that's great and yeah this these like you know like lupin movies are really amazing i can feel it and uh i think castle of Cagliostro was the next movie that came out i've already reacted to it uh if you've not seen it i'll link it down in the description box you can check it out my reaction to it and uh, so next week uh, i'll be doing the third movie which i think is called uh the uh, what's that the legend of the gold of babylon i think that's the name yeah so i'm going to react to that next week another lupan movie and i'm going to react to all the lupan movies you know i think there are like eight or ten movies something like that so it'll probably take me two or three months to actually complete all the movies so every week you know i'll be uh, posting my reaction to one of the movies so definitely subscribe if you want to like you know check them out so yeah so yeah guys thank you guys for watching and uh, if you guys enjoyed this reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed i'll be putting out rupan movies every week so definitely subscribe and comment down below anything you want to say and if i made any type of mistake or was unable to understand anything because of my lack of knowledge about rupan you know as i said i've not watched the anime like if there's anything you need i need rectification definitely let me know in the comment section and i'll check all the comments out so yeah so yeah guys that's it thank you guys for watching that was fantastic and i'm looking forward to the next week to react to another one of lupin's movie so yeah and i'll uh, so until then goodbye and have a nice day